And what is up everyone? Welcome to the army of the high value engineers where we gather, where we collect, where we absorb all information to become the best of the best of the bestest to raise our paycheck with an incredible amount because we know more than anybody else. It's time for another live stream. And today we are going to write a microservice in Golang. Oh my God, I'm always going, I'm almost going to faint. Whew, what an energy once again, man. It's Halloween, by the way. Did you know that people are trick or treating between? <laughs> we have no time. Nobody ate time. Got time for that shit, trick or treat. Oh my goodness. We are on a strict diet because we are, are units. You know what I mean? Um, all right. Uh, this is going to be, um, we're going to implement a microservice in Golang because EONS, EONS, <laughs> A uh, member of the community, lo loyal soldier, um, requested this not so long ago. And that's the benefit of being a part of this community. That's the benefit of being a subscriber to my channel. Why am I so small? That's the benefit of being a member of the community because joining the Discord and everything, we can collaborate and discuss what's next on the chopping block. And today it's going to be microservice in Golang. Um... Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm still an OBS rookie, not gonna lie. Is it this one? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we uh, Interstellar, Kira Kira, Tsiori, Tinker Bay, Eowannis, of course, Akan, AJ, Nasser, Snoop, Snoop. All right, so what we're we gonna do, we're gonna build a microservice in Golang. I'm gonna teach you how I approach things. It's... Um, I, in my opinion, a very good uh, approach. We're going to build something. Uh, I was thinking, what can we build? We are going to build something is being used a lot by uh, quant infrastructure. They also have a lot of uh, microservices and we're going to build a simple microservice, a uh, single purpose thing, very small because it's a microservice that can fetch the price, for example, for Ethereum, Bitcoin or something else. Of course, we are not gonna, you will see, you will see what's gonna happen. Um, and we're gonna start with the, implementing the first transport we're gonna um, support is JSON, of course, JSON API. And we can extend it later on with gRPC. And we are gonna use the context package and then everybody is happy because uh, all requested, all requested, right? All right, man. Whew, I'm already exhausted just from, from announcing. And if we hit a lot of subscribers very soon, I'm gonna hire Bruce Buffer to announce the stream personally, right? All right, so um, can I do a touch main.go? I already have this price fetcher um, open up in, in, in VS Code. And I think I already did a go mod in it. And now I'm gonna touch a main.go and I hopefully can find this here. Yes, I'm gonna say uh, package main. And I need to warm up <laughs> as usual because uh, I needed to join a birthday party so I didn't code too much today. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna say func main. And uh, we're actually gonna basically touch another file. Um, we're gonna touch service go. We're gonna open up our service. It's gonna be package main. Uh, yes, package main. And we're gonna say what's going on with this N. This guy literally is sticking to my cursor. We're gonna say uh, type, I'm gonna call this a price fetcher and it's gonna be an interface, right? Interface. I would love to be your community moderator. Um, I will answer questions uh, from time to time, right? We need to, we need to make some speed here. So we're gonna make a, a price fetcher interface and we're gonna say if you wanna fetch a price, uh, we're gonna call this function, one simple function. It's gonna be fetch price, right? We're gonna give this a context, uh, context. It's a Golang uh, standard uh, package, by the way. And why we are using this will be clear later on. It's a very common practice to use this as the first argument of your functions because a lot of existing tools use context and then it's basically adaptable and connectable and all that good stuff. So we're gonna say context and then we're gonna say uh, a string because we're gonna fetch a price by ticker and we're gonna return 
a float 64 and an error right and it's important we are going to separate our business logic from everything we're going to separate our logic or logging logic from we're going to separate everything right this approach is basically a middleware uh, approach i'm using for this all right this is our interface uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, make another type that's going to be small caps right interface here is is basically caps capital p and this is going to be the price fetcher that's going to be a struct um, we're not going to hold anything for now we're going to say func service is going to be the price fetcher and we're going to say fetch price context is going to be a ctx context uh context what's going on what's going on hey and it's going to be a ticker which is a string and it's going to return a float 64 like the interface describes right and an error okay so <clears throat> basically what we're going to do here this is our business logic right so a microservice has business logic and that's going to happen in this function we are not going to use coin market cap or coinbase to do this because that's just installing an api and then i need to do this key stuff and, and all that shenanigans i don't i'm not going to do that we are going to mimic uh, an api call right this is a microservice tutorial which will show you how to structure and how to implement these things but the business logic itself come on guys that's something um, very simple right just call the price from a token it's easy so we're going to say func um, mock mock price uh fetcher or something i don't know man and we're gonna say um i don't know maybe the context or something uh yeah why not context we're gonna say uh ticker which is gonna be a string and that's gonna return us uh, the same thing a float 64 and we're gonna just do uh, an http round trip uh sleep right to mimic uh that behavior right so we're gonna say Let's make something like a var um, price mocks is going to be a map of uh, string to float 64. It will all make sense, trust me, guys. But have a little faith in me. We're going to say BDC. Uh, I don't know the prices, uh, to be honest, because I literally don't care. Um, I, I think it's around 20k, right? So we're going to say uh, 20 like this and then copy this for eat. I don't know what it is, maybe 200 or something. And then, of course, the GG token. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be an insane amount because we are going <laughs> to the moon, of course. So price mocks, we're going to say here, for example, uh, the price, uh, okay, is going to be price uh, mocks tickers. Then we're going to say if not okay. We're gonna return the price, which is basically zero, right? And then we're gonna say FMT error F. It's gonna be um, taker. The given taker is not supported. Like this. What's going on? Of course, taker. Why? If, <laughs> all right, and then we're gonna say return the, pr actually, yeah, return the price and a null error, right? And then we can say in our business logic, right? Um, we're gonna say here, right, you, actually, we don't need to say anything. We're gonna say that the price, and it's very important in your business logic to not use any types. I mean, um, we, we're just fetching a price, which is gonna be, in our case, a float 64 or something, or a decimal, whatever. But you don't use any JSON representations here. It's very important. You, you do that somewhere else and you will see what, where we're gonna do that. You don't hassle. Your business logic needs to be clean and only handle the business logic, right? So we're gonna say price R is gonna be uh, the mock price fetcher. We're gonna give it the context so we can cancel it later on if we want, right? If you say, fetch me the price, but after one second or two seconds, hey, that's enough, cancel. And that's why the context can come in handy. And then we're going to say ticker and we say if the error is not nil, uh, that's going to be a return price and the error. Actually, we could, <laughs> we can make it so simple uh, that it's simple, right? 
cool. The next thing we're gonna do is touch a logging uh, goal. So let's open up uh, another window real quick. Here, let's say a login. We're gonna say package main. Like this. And we're gonna say, type the logging service. Actually, do, do we need to have, we can this small thingy. The logging service is gonna be a structure and it's gonna hold a next, which is going to be a price fetcher interface, not the, not the implementation, right? So this is gonna be a uh, price fetcher is an interface that can fetch a price, right? And then we're gonna say this thing, this price fetcher, that's gonna be, <coughs> uh, price fetcher implements the price fetcher interface, right? Does that make sense? So our logging service is gonna be a, a price fetcher. Sounds weird, but it's cool. So we're gonna say func s uh, logging service fetch. Just 15 subs to go, yeah man, maybe today is gonna be the day. Thousand subs, what? A month ago, I, 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 man, a month ago, I'm speechless, I'm not gonna lie. This was not the intention, but hey, I like it, why not? I'm going at the speed of light without a suit because we don't literally need a suit, right? We are the high value engineers. We do whatever the fuck we want to do. It is what it is. Uh, fetch price. And this, guys, this is amazing. I'm going to teach you so cool tricks here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look at this. So we're going to say fetch price. We're going to say context. Why? Because, hey, request IDs. How, how are we going to request IDs, guys? I'm, I, I thought of everything. Man. Uh, fetch price is going to be the context, which is a context context, right? Then we're gonna say, okay, we need a ticker, which is a string, and we're gonna return. And in this case, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna do um, a named return. Why? <laughs> you will see, you will see. Uh, you will be amazed. Uh, we're gonna say, the price is gonna be a float 64, and what's going on? And the error is an error like this, right? Then we're gonna say, look at this, defer func, hop, hop, hop. And then we're gonna say here, Begin, uh, oh, help. Begin is gonna be a time, time. And then we're gonna say here, uh, time uh, now, like this, right? Save this. And then we're gonna install uh, Logris real quick. You could actually use any logger you want, but I'm using Logris, I don't know. Uh, go get uh, github.com, see Ripson, Logris. Done. We're gonna say Logris. Logris uh, with fields, fields, yes, Logris fields. Uh, we're gonna say maybe debug or info. Hey, hey, up to you. Not gonna lie. We're gonna say uh, we, we can give it. Um, we could say fetch price or something. Give it a function name maybe. And then we're gonna say here took <coughs> how how long does it took us uh, time. Since, what's going on here? Since, begin, yeah? Then we're gonna say the error. That's why we need these named returns, guys. We say error. And the price we fetched is gonna be the price. And, damn, log logris is not working. It's not working, my man. That's nasty. Um, yeah, then we do GitHub. What's going on? GitHub. Uh, see, Repson, Logris. Okay, it's because I'm a, uh, yeah, all right, <clears throat> cool. So we have, we can just return it, I guess. Is that? No, 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 we can't. We're gonna say S next. And we pause in the CTX and the ticket, right? That's what we're gonna do, my bad. Wait, uh, we're not gonna do this. Uh, wait, 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 I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Um, do we need to return this? I don't think so. Can we call it, I guess? I'm confused now. I'm actually confused by my own shenanigans.
Oh, yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not gonna lie. All right. Kira, kira, keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will. So that's our logging service, right? So that's good. So let's go to main real quick. Uh, and then we can say, for example, just to test things out, you could say, yo, uh, the service, or maybe SVC, is going to, wait, let's open up logging real quick. Logging. Uh, we're going to say, func new logging service, and that's going to take in uh, a service, which is going to be a price fetcher, right? And it's gonna return a price fetcher like this. All right, that's 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 what's gonna be. So we're not returning uh, the logging. We just return a price fetcher. So we're gonna say return logging service. What, why is it doing this? And we're gonna say next, and that next is gonna be actually. We can call this next, by the way. Why is it not working? What's going on, actually? As a pointer receiver. <laughs> hey. Whatever. Whatever you want, I I'm going to give you. Why use microservice? Because microservices is basically being used by... Um, if you have a large, large, large company, or you're going to work in a large company, you probably are going to write microservices. They're going to say to you, hey, uh, write me the service. And you're going to need to write a simple service that just do one simple thing, right? That, that's why it's called a microservice. For example, fetch a price, uh, resize an image, uh, create a thumbnail or something, I don't know, something very simple. And you're gonna need to write this. You're gonna need to attach logging. You need to gonna attach metrics to Prometheus, for example. You are gonna need to implement different kinds of um, transports because maybe it's JSON. Maybe people are gonna use it with gRPC. You're gonna need to write your own client. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, that's basically where it, that's what I'm doing right now. It's literally what I did uh, at, at top companies uh, at the exact same thing. That's what they ask you. And I'm going to deliver exactly what they asked me. So you know this already. Right? You know, so you know this. Um, yeah, so that's cool. So now in main, because we're going to write our own client. Because if you make a, a microservice in a large team, you need to deliver the Docker file, right? And, and a client, so people can just use the client in, in, their, in their code base. They don't need to, if they, if they write Go, right? If they use Python, then they need to implement their own client. But if they use Golang or something, uh, Golang, then they can use your client. They, they, they have a good day because they don't need to write the client themselves. So basically, SVC is going to be, um, we could do something like this, right? Uh, for example, var SVC, is going to be a price fetcher, right? Like this. Then we're going to say that the SVC is going to be a new logging service. And we could say here, the price fetcher, the implementation right here, right? And then we could say something, what's going on here? It doesn't really actually matter. And then we're going to say SVC, fetch price, um, could say context background and then for example uh, et eat like this and what does it return uh, a price an error if add just just for testing right just just for demonstration then we're gonna we're gonna do our stuff um, we're gonna say a log fatal or something with the error and uh, maybe just log out the price to see if it's actually a kind of good if it's working uh, print ln uh, price, right? Can we do, do I have a make file? No, go run main go. Uh, of course, we need to build this. Um, make file real quick. I, I always do a make file. It's a very good practice. Uh, you could say build, <sighs> go build, minus o, bin, fetcher, Price fetcher, maybe. Let's say run build uh, bin price fetcher, like this, right? Right, you see, so we fetch the price, 
the price is 200, right? And we see our logging working, right? So the error is nil. The price is 200 and um, it took us 800 nanoseconds, right? So your logging is working. And if you see at the logging here and your business logic here, there are two files, <laughs> right? This completely separated from each other, completely, right? So if you need to update your microservice business logic, you don't need to touch the logging. You don't need to touch the transport. You don't need to touch anything, right? That's, that's the, the beauty of this um, pattern, right? It's a decorated pattern. Um, yeah, and we're going to do the same thing for our, for example, right? So we have this, uh, we could do, uh, for example, a new file. We could, what's going on? We could say metric, matrix.go. Uh, touch, what the hell do I, am I doing? Matrix go like this, and then you could say matrix, matrix. You could say package main. Uh, what's going on here? Package main. And then we say type uh, matrix service. Uh, it's going to be a struct like this and we could say next is going to be a price fetcher and do the same thing over and over right and we could say let's copy this function real quick hop and then we say a metric service fetch price and then we could do uh, let's save this real quick and then here you do for example let's return uh, zero and nil and here you could do your metrics storage right for example uh, push to Prometheus how does it write right uh, gouge counters right and then you can wrap that basically, actually what we could do, for example, is um, return as next fetch price, ctx string, right? String ticker, like this. And then in our main file, we could do, um, I'm gonna teach you these things, right? Real quick, a new metric service, like this. It will take a next, which is a price fetcher which will return a price fetcher but with the p return and metric service yeah we're going to say next is next like this and we could do new logging service um, new metric service is google going to format this like this right you see, so it's all working fine. And if you don't, uh, if you want to, you could say here, um, haven't the print F LN uh, pushing Prometheus, Prometheus. I don't know if it's correctly spelled, but it is what it is. Uh, make a run. Right, so it's pushing metrics to Prometheus. It's logging for us. It could do literally anything you want. It could hit caching or, uh, wait, I don't know, whatever you want. Iwanis, does it matter that we use package main for all them or is there a better practice for separated services? No, um, that's why I don't, this is a very common mistake, uh, beginning engineers in general, but also beginning Golang engineers is that they, because I don't know who that guy is and if I find him, I'm gonna, slap his ass but some guy has told us that we need to separate things and packages and folders and file names and that's not needed right everything if i write a service it's a microservice i write everything in the root almost everything in the root right the only thing i'm going to use a package for is uh, is a, a folder for is basically um for types that needs to be shared between the client and the actual running service. And you will see this, you will see this. It's main is perfectly fine, right? It will, because new Golang developers will most likely bump into circular dependencies, right? And circular dependencies is basically nasty. Alberto Delgado, hey, you think you could increase the font size? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do, I can do the font size one, one. Otherwise, I cannot even see on my screen because it's too big. So I can do this. 
which is 18. If I do 19, guys, then then for me it's it's hard. It's hard for me. Uh, 18 is is the best I could do. Tell me tell me if it's good and if it's bad, I can maybe do 19. <laughs> maybe. Uh, and I know from mobile phones, Alberto, I have a small. It's it's charging, but I have a, an iPhone Mini and it's basically impossible. I I, I totally agree. But hey. Um, my bad, but this is 18. This should be a little bit better. Let me know. Let me know, right? All right. So we basically have uh, our, our business logic is done, right? And if you open up service, okay, okay we, we are not. You know what? If you do the gRPC stuff, I will implement a real uh, instead of this mock price fetcher. We will do a real call to Coinbase if that if that's needed or Coin Market Cap, right? But this is your business logic. This is your metrics. This is your log uh, your logging, and now we are gonna build. Um, a new file, I'm going to say, there's going to be the API, right? Uh, we say package main, because we need to access this server, uh, this service, right? Package main, uh, we're going to say, <coughs> type JSON API server is a strict. And that's going to hold um, our SVC, and that's going to be a price fetcher right you see so if we need to change if we need to make another version right for example uh, you are making price fetcher v2 you could make your new implementation but it's still a price fetcher and it will still work right because it's an interface you don't need to adjust all your other things that's the beauty of interfaces that's the beauty of this approach all right so we're going to say something uh funk Server is going to be a JSON API server. I'm going to try to uh, improv, 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 improvise, improvise <laughs> here uh, like this. Uh, we're going to say something like man, it's a font size. <laughs> the font size. We're going to say JSON API server. We're going to say. Um, Handle fetch price, and we're going to say it's going to be a context, a CTX. It's going to be a context, uh, context. It's going to have an V W uh, HTTP. Let me close up these uh, windows real quick. HTTP response writer, uh, response, yeah, writer like this, and it's going to have an R, which is basically a pointer to an HTTP request. And it will return an error, right? <coughs> so we're going to say um, ticker. It's going to be, I don't know, R U R L query get ticker. <laughs> Crazy. It's a long time that I used this. Um, now we're going to say uh, price r is going to be s uh, fetch price right and it's going to be the ctx it's going to be the ticker right and we're going to say if r is not uh, nil we're going to just return the error that's the beauty because a lot of people uh, don't extend these functions from go they just use the plain uh, response writer and the request and you cannot return errors and it's going to be so nasty um <coughs> It's going to be so nasty, not gonna lie. Um, Akan, great to see you build things top of your head. Yes, it's it's semi. It's in top of my head, but I had a plan up front. It's not that I basically have something uh, where I can read this from, but uh, I thought about this up, up front, right? Uh, so I don't need to think a lot. Could you put a question on this? How would you approach that? I will, uh, let's, I will take this question later on. Akan, later on. I will explain. Uh, price, right? Of course. Then at this point we need to uh, have a, a price type, and uh, we're going to say type. Let's. I'm going to do it here for, for for quick, for real quick. But we need to move that out because we're going to build a client also, and uh, the client will also need that type. <coughs> we're going to say a price response, uh, like 
uh, this is going to be a structure, right? And we're going to say, yo, this is a ticker, which is going to be a full string. And it's going to have the price, which is going to be a float uh, 64. And then we're going to, I, I need to use my laptop to this key because I don't have it on my keyboard for some reason. I don't know. 60% key. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. I need to find out where, where that where that thing is. We're gonna say JSON, and that's gonna be a ticker. So we have this nice um, small small caps, right, for JSON, and not a capital letter. And let's uh, delete this, paste it, and paste it in here. And then we're gonna say price, right? <clears throat> so now we're gonna make uh, we're gonna write this to JSON. So we're gonna say uh, a function real quick. What I'm always doing is I'm say write JSON function. Let me put at the top so you guys can see this. Uh, write JSON. It's very easy. We're going to say the W, which is an HTTP response writer. You don't need frameworks. <coughs> you need your head and your fingers. And we're going to say um, a status S is going to be an int, and uh, V is any. And we're going to return an error. And we're going to say uh, write header uh, the status, right? And then we're going to say return JSON new uh, encoder the w w of course and then we're going to say uh encode the v like this yeah and, <laughs> and it's done maybe we should make a header a json uh, uh, a json header but yeah it is what it is um <clears throat> it is what it is boys uh price so then we're going to say um we got, we're not we're gonna handle this error somewhere else. You, you're gonna see this, like I said, I mean, guys, nobody is doing this. Like, literally, no one. Oh man, I'm so, I, I I feel so bad, man. Where where was I? All these all these years. Where the fuck was I? I feel so bad for you guys that you need to watch all this crap. Don't handle your errors inside of your request. You return these errors and you handle them later on, right? In a single place. God damn it. All right, so we have a price. We're going to say that uh, price uh, response is going to be a price response. Uh, no. Price re response. Why is it my type hinting? I'm relying too much. There was a day I never used type hinting. In my Vim, I just coded everything without type hinting. That's why I know the standard library on the top of my head. Uh, but still, man, I'm old and uh, I need some help. Uh, price response. We're going to say that the price is going to be the price. Uh, here and then we're going to say that the ticker is going to be the ticker like this right and then we're going to say um, return look at this how beautiful it is right json http no. no 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 w http status okay and then we say price response and uh, we could do this or uh, just make a pointer or something what is else going on That should work. All right. I have no clue why, why these things lighting up actually. Unused. And what is this then? You fool. It's because this is unused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do real quick is um, a trick. You're going to say HTTP. Uh, handle func yeah handle func slash and then we're gonna say what is this the handler okay we need a handler right and we cannot use handle fetch price because it's our own handler right we extend it we, we basically just put our own meta because we can we are high value engineers we do whatever the fuck we want and it's the compiler that is gonna listen to us and not the other way around so we're gonna say type uh, api func right there's gonna be a func I'm going to be a funk of uh, context. But context is very important, guys. If you know this, you're literally, you're a magician. Uh, funk context, uh, HTTP response writer. Uh, response writer. And of course, of course, guys, if you use a package like uh, Fiber or um, Echo or something, Gen, never use Gen, by the way. But all, then this was already being done, right? I understand, right? But I need to teach you guys something. I need to teach you guys something. And I never use these packages because if you write a microservice you and you have 
For example, 10,000 microservices running. Look at Netflix. How many microservices do they have running? A lot. Thousands and thousands and ten thousands of microservices. And if some of these packages you installed because you can call it a day, breaks or updates or something is wrong, you can update all these fucking 10,000 microservices. <laughs> hey, not me. I'm sipping. Margarita's on the beach playing Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> it is what it is because I implemented my own shenanigans. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, and it's actually almost done. Uh, we say context, context. Actually, we're gonna, not going to name this. Uh, and then we're going to say this is going to be an um, HTTP request. And, an, uh, uh, and another, right? Okay. And then we're going to say something like... Phew, um, Make HTTP API func. I need to think about this real quick. Uh, func. And a func. No, this me. Wait. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to return func w. I need to think about this real quick. Uh, HTTP response writer. Yeah. It's going to be a request. Yes. Yes. Make HTTP funk, I guess, then. Uh... And then we're going to say if r fn it's going to be an API funk, right? Yeah, and I'm going to say fn 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 wait, wait, wait <laughs> uh, you're going to say API funk fn Uh, API fn man context background or something wr is not nil then we're gonna say um, <laughs> right this is actually literally at the top of my head I'm not gonna lie uh, wait I made a mistake oh no I didn't I did Why is this? It's because I'm uh, it's because I'm I'm doing shenanigans here. It, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna say right header. I don't know. Maybe the status code you can actually um, check your error or something. To we're gonna just say uh, HTTP. St do we status bad request maybe? Yeah, why not? Maybe an internal server error. That's what you need to check, right? Because. Um, your application could return several errors. You can actually extend the Golang error, and then you can assert, assert uh, you can assert your error. And if it's, for example, uh, user not found error, you could say uh, bad request. If it's, for example, um, balance, I don't know, balance depleted, you could return an interface, uh, an internal server. Error. It's up to you, right? Um, we're gonna write the header, and we're gonna say we uh, write. Write JSON, yeah, and then we're gonna say it needs. We can't actually. We do that. No. Yes, 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 yes. My bad, my bad. Thinking out loud. Freestyling. We're gonna say HTTP status. No, it's need W W. Status. Status because we need to dockerize this thing. Also, we need to hurry up. Status bad. Uh, request like this, and then we're gonna say uh, map. And you could actually make your own error type, to be honest. But I'm going to do it like this, nasty way. We're going to say any, and then say like this, error. Uh, and then uh, say r, and call it a day. Is it going to... Do we need to do this, maybe? I don't know. We will see. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and we could do something like this, real quick. Uh, say that the CTX is going to be this. 
uh, and then we're gonna say, um, guys, what I'm gonna do is crazy. I'm gonna make something um, ctx equals context uh, with value, right? We're gonna pass in the other context, and then we're gonna say it's gonna be the request ID, and we're gonna say rent int n, and call it a day, and then we're gonna say this is our context ctx. Right, and then you could say here in our service, no, in our login, man, 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 man. Look at this. We're gonna say the request ID, request ID, and that's going to be the CTX value uh, and request ID. So now, in your login, on your Grafana, on your uh, how does it called? Uh, uh, data doc or uh, elastic search, you can see the request ID. So you can trace, you can trace the error and see what happens. You can filter on a request ID so you can see everything what happens in one request. If you know what I mean. Avinash, uh, I'm late, what, uh, what, where are you up to? Wait. I'm late, what we are up to till now. So we are making a microservice in Golang where we are uh, making a simple price fetcher that can fetch the price from Ethereum, uh, BTC, something like that. Very small, a microservice separation. Uh, I mean, it just do one thing and it does it well and we're gonna instrument it, we're gonna make it uh, extendable, our logging, business logic, everything separated, metrics, separated transport, this is exactly, if you deliver this to, to Netflix, <laughs> this guy's gonna hire you because that's exactly what they do. <laughs> it is what it is. The whole fucking uh, Belgium traffic light parking tickets with your cell phone payment system is, is running on these kinds of shit because I wrote them. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, all right, so we have this nasty little make HTTP handler funk and then we're gonna say, make HTTP handler func and then we're gonna pause in uh, s handle fetch price please <laughs> nah undeclared name okay that's good that's good news We broke the matrix. Okay, so in run, then we need to do something like, uh, we're gonna say, listen, adder. Right, I'm gonna make this complete thing for you guys. I'm gonna make this complete project. It will be available on GitHub. I'm gonna, it's, it's, it's not, it's gonna be complete, delivered, polished, a polished product. The listen adder is gonna be a string. All right, and I'm gonna say, uh, do we have a new function? We don't have, new JSON. API server. We're gonna say I wanna call this port, but yeah, we are doing listen at so why not? And then uh, the SVC that's going to be a price fetch it interface, the interface uh, always to the interface and it's gonna be a JSON not a JSON server and then we're gonna return the JSON server and we're gonna say that the listen address is going to be the listen address and the SVC is going to be the SVC. Interface, All right, main. What I'm doing, I'm confused. Let me see quickly what's going up with the thing here. All right, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so now, now is the time. Now we're gonna boot this, this thing up, right? Uh, and this is basically our JSON, right? This is our JSON transport. And we can boot up as many transports as we want. We're also gonna implement a gRPC. That's maybe for the next episode. We're gonna, in the next stream, we're gonna implement gRPC. Uh, and then we can do whatever we want, right? You could, you could literally make as much transport as you want and make the clients and, and everybody can do. Some people can use JSON 
uh, JSON API. Some people in the company can use uh, gRPC. I don't know. Uh, maybe you need to. Maybe JSON is something that needs to be supported for 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 this for this Java uh, old Java thing things, right? Uh, because you know the GVM always lacking behind. Hey, I'm just naming up things that's reflecting real life. It, it, it literally is. Right, so we have our service here. We're not going to do this here. Uh, we're going to say, uh, first of all, yeah, we're going to do this later on. So first of all, we're going to say that the server is going to be a new, uh, j because we need to write the client and everything also. New JSON API server, we're going to say, for now, it's going to run on a port we hard code this. And actually, why don't we do it like this? Uh, port, right? Actually, listen adder. It's going to be a flag string. It's going to be the listen adder. Let's do it like this. We're going to say the default one is 3000 because that's the mecca of all ports, isn't it? 3000. Uh, is it being recorded? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's going to be as a review. Man, I, my, my heart basically keeps, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm looking at these numbers on OBS and I don't see uh, that thing. Uh, and I thought that I'm offline and oh my goodness, it's crazy, anxiety. But it's it's going to be recorded after stream. So it's gonna be saved and you can watch it uh, and replay and, and whatever, man. Uh, and I'm going, I'm going to add chapters if it works because sometimes they don't work. So you can actually uh, skip to these chapters and, and all that good stuff, right? I got your back, man. I got your back, brother. And if you want to learn more about these things and you want to do suggestions on what videos I need to make, subscribe, jump into the Discord, and I will make it happen. All right. <clears throat> Listen address 3000, and then we need to say, uh, for example, the port, the listen address the service is running i don't know man uh, something like that give it a name and then you want to say flag uh, parse you don't need to install these crazy things i mean do literally you don't need to right you just it's it's a waste of time and it's it's a complex it's it makes things complicated to to with all this versioning and, and all that stuff <clears throat> So this is going to be a port. You need to specify this. Listen address, by the way. Uh, you need to specify this with um, to dereference it. To be honest, otherwise it won't work. And um, we're going to put our service into this in our server, and we're going to say server uh, run. All right. Uh, is it going to work? Actually, make run. Oh. Of course, we forgot something very important. <laughs> API. Where is my, my thingy here? Run. I'm going to say HTTP. Uh, listen. And surf. We're going to say uh, S, listen address. And then we're going to say nil because we don't do that uh, shenanigans. Okay. <clears throat> uh, uno momento, por favor. So I'm going to basically um, do a local host. Can I, can I drag this thing without showing my my nudes? Probably it is, eh? So I'm going to say uh, local host. All right. So we already have an error here. The given ticker is not supported in a nice JSON format. Uh, although we have an error here because the ticker, of course, because the ticker doesn't exist. So we're going to say something like um, uh, ticket eats, right? I already tested this. Yeah. Because I was dockerizing this thing and I literally, it took me one hour to get this dockerized because I didn't know it um, for you guys. It took me actually less time to wrote this than to dockerize this. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right. So uh, let's say ticker BTC. We get the price of BTC. And uh, if we have ticker GG, then we have the price of GG, right? So the service is actually uh, kind of working. So that's good, right? You already have your microservice. Right, but we are we are high value engineers, and what does a value what does a, a high value engineer do is it he makes his own client for his own service. It's very important, and it's the job of every engineer. If you work at a, at a team, um, if you make a 
microservice, you also need to make your own client in most, compa in most companies, right? So we're gonna do this by creating a new folder and I'm gonna call this client. Why a new folder? Because this needs to be importable, right? People need to import this from their private GitHub or whatever. Um, so, so this client can be used in other microservices, right? For example, in a gateway, right? If you have a gateway, the gateway will actually call our service. So it needs to have a way to interact with it, right? And if the gateway is also written in Golang, it can use our client. Package client, then we're gonna say um, client go. How are we fetching the price? Very good question. We actually don't. Uh, let me open up service real quick. Let me do package client uh, service. Close this. So we're fetching the price with a mock price fetcher. Right? Actually, uh, this is not a mock. I'm going to say time, sleep. We're going to mimic the HTTP round trip. So we're going to say 100 time millisecond, right? So we're going to sleep for 100, which is basically some some average HTTP round trip from Coinbase or, or CoinMarketCap. And if we do the gRPC stuff in the next stream, I will implement a real price fetch, right? And the only thing we do is we sleep for 100 milliseconds to mimic the HTTP round trip. And then we're going to fetch the price here. And if we could not find it, then um, we're going to return an error, right? If that makes sense. <clears throat> just to mock things because this stream is not about how to fetch a price from coin market cap this tutorial is based on how to structure a microservice and make it complete uh, like you would do in a normal day job right literally how i would do things if i would if i was working uh for a company client so we're going to say uh type and actually what you Man, I always have this dyslectic uh, thing with these with these letters. You could make this also an interface. Let's do it, actually. No, let's let's do it later on. Let's first see if we, if we can make this all work. Uh, when to use JSON over gRPC? That's a good question. There is not li literally an answer for this. Um, speed, 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 speed. JSON. JSON is uh, is text, right? And you need to know, marshalling text, doing string operations is computer's most intensive task, actually, to be honest. I not take this with a grain of salt, but I mean, strings is not that straightforward for computers to process. And we as, as engineers, we don't know this a lot, but behind the scenes, if you, strings are, are pretty complex from time to time and marshalling these stuff takes time, right? Uh, marshalling from bytes, JSON, all that stuff. But if you use gRPC, you're basically working with plain bytes, right? Proto buffers, which is optimized for speed, is optimized to send over a wire. So I would say speed. But yeah, to be honest, don't be, don't worry about speed for your microservices or something unless your boss asks you, right, to do it in gRPC. JSON is fine. Scalability is is, is a luxury problem, right? Don't start to scale your app for speed. F start to fix the problem first. And then when you have a lot of users and, and, and things are getting into the, into the red zone, then you can think about scaling up. But then you are already doing a very good job because your app is under load. That means you're making money, right? Take that in mind. The same with your program. Don't look very simple structure. Don't make things complex, right? Don't do it because you're gonna shoot in your own food. Not all web browsers, yeah, but we don't use any web browsers, right? We, 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 we communicate, gRPC is being used to communicate between servers, right? We are never gonna use gRPC to communicate with our, with our browser, right? The browser is just a client um, that can put things on the screen. It's just a simple program running, running on your own computer. Uh, wait, client, endpoint, string, right? 
you see this this dyslectic client thing always uh, we're gonna say maybe endpoint or something yeah and then we're gonna return a client you see always I have this I need to reprogram my brain we're gonna return uh, a client I'm gonna say that the endpoint is gonna be the end point right then we're gonna say func we're gonna say C client <laughs> we're gonna say fetch uh, price right we're gonna say actually we're gonna do a context here always do context guys always ctx context uh, context take a string and it's gonna return in our case now we are in problems right because we it's gonna return this uh, response from our API API right this JSON no this price response so we are gonna make a new file folder it's gonna be types that's what I do. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna say um, types. I'm gonna boom group them into the same thing. API. <coughs> uh, delete this here. Paste it in here. Then we're gonna save it here. Uh, package types here. This uh, price fetcher. That's a problem. Oh man, you. I just copied the wrong thing. By the way, I was thinking. What am I doing? Like this. I was thinking we need to fucking have the service. It's going to be circular dependencies, but it is not. Arcadius, you're late, man. What the hell? But it's fine because it's you. Uh, of course, we're going to have a problem. So we need to say here uh, types, right? Types, price response. Of course. Of course. On the M. How is it called? Um price fetcher types it's all good isn't it yes open up client and then we're gonna say it's gonna return us here um, a pointer to a types price response and an error right I'm gonna save this yeah R yeah yeah uh, POB RPC and gRPC are two different things exactly um, RPC is actually RPC stands for remote protocol call I think um, and what gRPC stands for I have no clue Google I don't know uh, no idea it's, it's made by Google I think um, and RPC is basically just a way to communicate with each other you can have JSON RPC which is basically we are commu but a JSON API is not a JSON RPC uh, if to be correct right so we right now we have a transport or service is uh, accessible with a JSON API, right? So we can fetch it by a JSON API. And later on, we are going to implement an extra, not replace it. We are going to implement an extra way of communicating with that service. And that will be through gRPC. Uh, and with gRPC, you can never do that with your browser, right? JSON, you can just do an URL, press enter, and you will get it on your screen. With gRPC, it can only be used between two servers or the client, right? But not your browser, machines. Okay? That's very uh, important. And why would you use gRPC? Because in, in, in these companies, not listen guys you need to understand that if you join a company a big company they have these old stacks they have python they have teams writing python they have teams writing node.js they have teams writing groovy scala java all these things right so they cannot communicate they need to have a way to communicate so it's either being json or or or, G, or grpc or something else rabbit mq i don't know you tell me right um the world is not as you see it sometimes on YouTube. Trust me, it's a completely different breed. Uh, a lot of developers choke when they come into a production environment. They choke, literally, <gasps> because it's quite a mad, it's a mad world. I'm not gonna lie. It's not uh, making a to-do list. It's real shenanigans going on. All right, so we're gonna say fetch price. Um, first of all, we're gonna say a request. Uh, error 
it's going to be HTTP new request uh, like this right and then we're gonna say it's gonna be a get request um, an endpoint this endpoint is wrong but it doesn't matter and null for the bytes then we're gonna say f edge is not null <coughs> and then we're gonna return nil the error then we're gonna say HTTP default client do it's gonna be the response Ash, it's gonna be this and we're gonna say do the request right and we're gonna say the same thing I'm gonna copy it right here boom and I'm gonna say um, price response is going to be a new types price response right and then we're gonna say if Ash can I return this? No, I can't. If R is going to be JSON, uh, new decoder. Uh, is it response? Body. Decode. Yes. Decode me <coughs> the price response. Uh, and then we're gonna say here, man, what, what's going on here? Editor, hello, lag. Like. And then we're gonna return again, nil. And the error. And then here we're gonna say, <coughs> return me the price response. And nil. Right? By the way, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Everything is fine. Uh, we are all here to learn. And uh, sometimes these terms can be very confusing. It is 100% agree. Okay, so the endpoint, basically we need to do uh, end point is going to be fmts print f and that's going to be percent s this 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 i know <laughs> it's uh it's nasty but it is what it is it doesn't matter right yeah no this Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do some space. Of course, we need to handle some errors. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna say main. So what I'm gonna do first is basically uh, open up. Uh, I'm gonna make run here, right? So our price fetcher is running, right? It's our, our service is booting up. And then I'm gonna say uh, quickly do a return here, so I can say that the client uh, testing our client uh, is gonna be. Do we have a new client? Of course not. Wait, what's going on here? Uh, clients. This is. That's my dog. He needs to go outside once again, but I have no time. So we're gonna say client new, but we don't have this. So we're gonna say we have new client. That's actually bad because we're gonna call client new client. That doesn't not, not make any sense. So you could say client new. Uh, get is an endpoint. It's gonna be HTTP localhost 3000, right? Like this. There's no error actually. It's, <laughs> it's easy. And then we're gonna say the price response error is going to be client fetch but why is it not working what's going on here oh man this fucking vs code sometimes man uh client boom and then we're going to say fetch price yeah we need to have a context right we're going to say context background and then we're going to say the ticket is going to be eat <coughs> if add is not nil uh it's going to be so why do we need this client? Maybe this question in your mind. It's because we are not gonna access our service with 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 the browser. We're gonna access it in in, in another service, in a gateway, in, in another microservice, right? That's that's the that's why microservices are being used. We're gonna use this in another service, right? We're gonna containerize this also. We're gonna say log fatal, the error, and otherwise we're gonna basically say fmt print f percentage plus v new line 
and the price. All right, is this gonna work? I have no clue. So we have here in our Ubuntu uh, window, we have our price fetcher running, right? And then we're gonna say make run again, and it's gonna return. So we, and then we see we got a nice beautiful response from our service. We are accessing our own microservice with our own built client, and you can see that nice. We are pushing metrics to Prometheus. We have this logging. Uh, the error is nil, price is this, blah, blah, blah. Request ID, guys. We have a request ID, all thanks to the context and all that stuff. And it took us, hey, it took us 100 milliseconds. Why? Because that is the HTTP round trip we configured for our mock price fetcher. Uh, and to be honest, we need to test if, it, if it's failed, right? So for example, if I do ET, right? We don't have that ticker, right? So if I make run again, uh, then of course, we're gonna get an error. We don't have an error, by the way. So we need to fix this. Um, because you s what's going on here? Let's open up, let's open up what's going on. So we're returning these errors here, that's perfectly fine. I think in our client, we need to do some, some stuff. So we have this error. Um, what we're gonna do is, let me quickly think. Yeah, we're gonna check if response, uh, and I have two of these things open. On I hate this because I see uh, my cursor actually doing a lot of stuff. If the response status code, uh, for example, right? Uh, we could see actually HTTP status okay, right? Status okay. Then we can say, um, Uh, we could say MT error F uh, service responded with non 200 st non okay status code actually uh, status code I don't know there should be an error uh, not quite sure what's going on I need to test this real quick and this is actually our client so that doesn't matter we no don't need to reboot this. Service responded with a non okay status code. That could be good, but why don't we have any errors? Responded. Uh, what's going on? It's actually in our API, right? So we're writing JSON each error, return R. It should return that the ticket is not found, right? Are there any questions, actually? In the meanwhile, I'm gonna try to see what's going on. Although it works fine, but just the error uh, handling is, uh, is scuffed. Uh, you see, and it works here, right? If I do like this, it's gonna give us a ticker, ticker error. Eat is gonna work, and if we say ET, that's gonna give us a nice error, right? Oh, I see. Oh, 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 I see what's going on. I see it. I already see it. It's gonna be client. Uh, if the status code is not okay, what we need to do is uh, we need to say something like um, error, error, HTTP error. It's gonna be a map uh, string any, right? Something like this. And then we could say this, do this. But, oof, this is uh, nasty, I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit nasty, I'm not gonna lie, but sometimes nasty is good, right? Uh, the code, why is this a problemo? Yeah, I know why, man. I know. Hey, chill. Uh, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna decode this, and then we're gonna, uh, with the non-okay status code, 
and then we're going to say this guys look at this s and then the adder and then make a run of HTTP <laughs> uh. like this make run boom and then we have a nice error in our client the service responded with a non-ok -okay status code and then uh, the given ticker et is not supported and actually we should do something like this we can't um error we can't actually this my bad uh it's a map right so we're gonna say error and you make your own error type right you could make your own error type now we have a clean code all right are there any questions for the request id it would be nice to have something more unique i know i know this this rent in guys is just so we don't so i don't need to think about another implementation you could um where is the request ID in API, right? It's a rant int, I know. You should use uh, something better. Uh, UUID, like you mentioned, is, is, is perfectly. It's actually, and, but I don't think we have you. Do we have UUID actually? I don't think we have that. We need to install a package, but hey. Right, uh, give me one. Give me seven seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. Okay, I'm back. The dog, man. <laughs> this, this, this girl. All right. Uh, this is working. Cool. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm not a Docker specialist. Just gonna, just gonna, gonna say it to you. The only thing I can do is just make a Docker file and make this work and deliver this to my DevOps team and call it a day, sipping margaritas on the beach. Yes, that's what we do. You're gonna say touch Docker file, right? I'm, I'm gonna, we have our own client. We have, we have everything. We have our logging, we have our metrics. So now it's time to just ship it, uh, to just ship it, uh, ship it and dip it. Ship it and dip it, that's what they do. Docker file. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do, guys, listen, hey, I'm not from yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna um, do something um, just uno momento, por favor. Can I copy this? Because I made this Docker file already. <laughs> Don't want to hassle with this shenanigans. Uh, it's going to be a price fetcher, right? It doesn't really matter. Is this going to work? I don't know, man. I had a big issue with Docker this morning when I tried this out. The king is being noticed. Terry, what is up, man? VIP Patreon, by the way. My, my keyboard is full of crumbles. <laughs> it's nasty. Oh, look at this beauty. Look at this. The Razer Huntsman Mini. Not, not the best keyboard I ever had, by the way. I, I had a K Corsair KG60, whatever. It was better. But hey, this is what it is. Uh, is this going to work? I have no clue. Uh, we're going to say Docker. Docker. Is Docker running, actually? That's a, that's a good question. What's going on here? Docker. Yes. Yes. We're going to say uh, Docker build is a tag um, fetcher one point this is gonna work i don't know I, I was hassling the whole fucking morning with the care and actually to be honest uh because i'm normally i'm on a mac but i'm using a windows machine with uh, wsl on my razor blade uh, razor blade 17 and um I was so afraid of using Docker over uh, WSL, but actually it works like a charm. It's it is, it's crazy. In my back in my days, it, <laughs> you need to do all this kind of stuff, man. It was crazy. You guys are literally working in the best time of your life, in the best the best time to be alive as an engineer. Not gonna lie. Uh, is this gonna work? Not quite sure. Docker um, p images. Yeah, and I can say Docker run. And we need to do something like uh, P, I guess, eight three thousand, and then three thousand, hopefully. 
Fetcher, is that a thing? Min D, minus D, minus D. Fetcher, is that a thing? Fetcher one, I don't know. All right, so what we not need to do now is close this, uh, this price thingy, right? So nothing is running, right? Nothing is running. Is this gonna work? I don't know. I don't think so. It's not, it's not working, but it's fine. I think it's, uh, I think the Docker basically exited it because yeah, it's it's because um, the thing was running on port 3000. I'm, I'm gonna try to run it again. Please. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Do I have actually, wait. Do I made a mistake? Go build. This should be good, man. I just copy pasted from a working thing. I knew that if something went wrong in this stream, it would be the Docker file. <laughs> I, I knew this from the beginning. I knew this from the beginning. Uh, let me see my Docker. Um, wait, let me quickly check this. What's going on here? Containers. Exited. Why? Dial. Connection refused. Exposed 3000. Guys, where, where are my Docker specialists here? Wait, I have two of these things. Wait, wait. I'm going to make this work. No worries, no worries, no worries. So, and this guy, the same thing, right? Uh, connection refused. Okay. We don't need to do anything here, right? Because my main file, it, it, it's standard 3000. We made a big mistake. <laughs> we, we were doing our client shenanigans, remember? Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we're gonna do this uh, real quick and then, uh, what's going on here with my keyboard again? Almost almost my birthday, so you know what you need to buy me. So we're gonna say list netters, blah, 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 that's fine. We're gonna use this default. Yeah, now we need to build this again, right? Let me open up. Uh, my my FN. Docker run. Docker build. Two. Is that a thing? Check Docker logs. Yeah, I I I was I was uh, uh, Docker. I'm gonna I'm gonna type it out because my keyboard is sixty percent, so I don't have arrows and I need to press. Blah, nasty. Docker run, we're gonna say minus P, that's basically this shenanigans, uh, like this, and then we're gonna say D for demon, and then Fetcher 2, is that a thing? You see, hey, hey, it took a little bit longer, he was thinking, he was thinking. Come on, please, let's, let's, yes! All right, so we shipped everything, right? We have our Docker file, we have our, 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 um, Or microservice and to be honest guys this microservice is pretty lit it's it's basically nice service business logic completely separated uh, logging completely separated metrics completely separated and then we have our api uh, here api completely separated and support for context <laughs> So the next thing we need to do is just make another server a grpc server boot that up spin these guys up at the same time go routines and we have two servers and the old ogs can use json and the new cool kids can use grpc hey <laughs> this is what it is and if i had a ping pong table i would i would play ping pong right now because i'm done and all the other engineers are still crying right Yeah, I, I think people coming into the stream sawing this this main function, they would they would think, what the fuck is this guy up to? <laughs> but uh, hey, we're doing uh, we were testing our client. Our client is working. Uh, everything is fine. We have our own client, by the way, right? Our client, very easy. Golang fetch price, and we have zero single external libraries. Single. And I made this. It's one hour and twenty, and I was reading the chat and everything. So we made this in one hour. Microservice complete, shipped, tag chipped. 
in one hour of course we did not fetch the price from coinbase i know or coin market cap yeah 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 we're gonna do that but that literally takes 10 minutes because you can just download the package in some cases you can use packages right in some cases you can but try to avoid as much if it takes too much time then you should use a package right I'm not going to write a whole coin market cap API and maybe if fetching the price is simple, then we could do it uh, real quick ourselves. But uh, yeah. Can you show real time price with AppSocket? That could be a good. Uh, I think I'm going to make I'm going to make so much series because I'm literally online every day. Right. So I need to have a lot of content. And I think we're going to make these uh, couple series. We're going to do the poker series. Right. We're going to keep continuing that. We're going to do our trading series, uh, quant series, or, or blockchain series, but also maybe something like um, the series where the community requests something and I will implement that, right? And now it was Eowenis, and I hope I pronounce your name as I practice today, especially for you, my man, uh, because he's a member, right? He just subscribed and he's in my Discord and he tell me, hey, yo, Anthony, can you, can you do something about microservices? And two days later, it's already there, right? That's, that's basically one of the benefits of being a member of the High Value Engineers. Uh, check my channel if you're new and uh, you will know what's up because it's something you've never seen before, literally nobody. And if you find someone, tag me because we are gonna do it much better. Are there any more questions? Uh, I'll re it's actually very simple concepts, but I can, I can, I can imagine that it's um, could be some, some, somewhat overwhelming, especially for example, these logging things, right? Uh, let me open up logging here. What's going on here? Logging, right? You see what happens here? Not, not much people know that you can do this stuff, right? Where you basically defer funk, put the time in, and then you can, uh, put your time here and your error and it's all good. <coughs> This is called the decorator pattern, right? Where you decorate, where you where you stack middlewares on top of each other. It works in 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 all these frameworks. Uh, they they use that that principle, but you can also do it for plain code to decorate your own business logic, so you don't need to hassle with all this stuff. And I can imagine that this API could also be somewhat confusing, where we basically created our own API func type, right? You could make any type in Golang. That basically means you can also make types out of functions, this mosquito is gonna die and he has no clue. If he comes closer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break his neck. The problem is there's a big light, right? The, a big, a big light shining here and all these mosquitoes, they, they wanna party, that's, that's a problem. Um, so we, we made actually our own API func to able extend the Golang uh, standards handle func because a handle func takes in a response writer and a request, but it doesn't return an error and that's so nasty because and it doesn't take a context so wait let me close all these things like this i need to up oh. up oh. oh. um you see so we made our own handler which is basically extended so we can put in a context and return an error and then you can do these nice returns right a lot of people handle their errors in their handler and then Oh, it's nasty. It's don't do it. Do it like this. It's pretty clean and all the errors are getting handled in one centralized place, which is here. And you can make some case statements and check your error, what kind of type it is. And, and then you can return uh, the correct uh, status code and all that stuff, right? Mosquito want to learn. No, no, no. Mosquito wants to, 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 to make me cry, this, those mosquitoes. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, but mosquitoes they are it's winter what the hell are they doing these guys don't they need to sleep or something i don't know no, normally in the summer you have you have these guys uh, flying around uh, man and then you wake up in the middle of the night with your with your slipper you know like a retard looking for these mosquitoes but these guys are right they are the klingons they are the klingons of 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 of, of the animal of the animals right you see there the mosquito and then He's gone. He's fucking gone. And you go back to sleep and he's back again. And man, it's crazy. So I stopped doing that. I just, I just hide myself uh, 
under the blanket. Any questions? It can be anything. I still have some some time. Can be program related. It I don't. It doesn't matter. We can shit talk also. Talk about crypto or whatever. Ask me any question about programming, any language. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Fifteen viewers. That's crazy. That I think this is the highest we ever went for some reason. It is. So welcome to the new people. I'm going to check. Actually, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Let me quickly, uh, I don't know how, how much I have because let me open up YouTube real quick, to be honest. Your channel. Ah, nine. Come on. Hey, people, if you watch the stream and you're, you're not subscribed, come on, man. We can, we can do a celebration live. Um, look at this guy. This channel, man, is crazy. Took a, a lot of effort. And this is a clickbait. This GRPC, normally I don't do clickbaits, <laughs> but this GRPC was a little clickbait. But we're going to implement GRPC, but not today, but hey, come on. I All these people are clickbaiting you with you're going to be rich very fast and you're going to be a JavaScript engineer in, in, in 10 days. So I can clickbait also a little bit, right, with my GRPC. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the poker, I'm, I'm actually, I think tomorrow we're going to stream poker. Um, I really want to complete this thing. Or maybe we, we just make the GRPC and call it a day. I don't know. But I promise this week we're going to do the GRPC stuff. Uh, so that's out of the way. It's very easy, to be honest, guys. It's just proto buffer. Uh, that could give you some issues because, and not proto buffer itself. It's just a compiling. You need to have the right syntax. I mean, the right... Um, command line arguments or you have a bad day. Uh, so that could give you some trouble. But besides that, gRPC is very simple. And we don't need to do a lot of things. The only thing we need to do is just call or, or, or business logic in a, in a gRPC request and that's it, right? Um, Tinker Bay, I just finished my Golang, Uber, Amazon, eBay, threesome child working on stupid front end. That's nasty. That's filthy. I gave you sub today for the first time on your Rust series. What do you think about Rust series? Um, what do you think about it? I'm doing a lot of Golang and I think I'm going to do some Rust also. Although Rust is, it's a little bit harder for me to stream because I need to look things up. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a machine. I mean, Golang, I know everything on top of my head because Golang is very minimalistic, right? It's a very min minimalistic language and you cannot do a lot of stuff differently in Golang, right? There is only, most of the time, only one way to do stuff, right? But in Rust, <laughs> whoo, baby! In Rust, the first thing people, Rust, Rustians, doing is comment your variable namings. <laughs> it's, it's, they, I, I don't know, it's like the Ruby community, I don't know why, but these guys, they, they cannot just, they cannot help it. They need to, they always need to find a way to, hey, this, this function could name different. And why does this variable is this and you need to do this and I understand, but I'm solving a problem and it works. It is what it is, my man. But in Rust, you can do a lot of things uh, in, in different ways and sometimes the, the compiler and then you, need to, then you need to look things up, right? If you want to sort something because Rust has so many functions on these iterators it's crazy you can man how what you can do it's it's insane so i need to look that up i i don't know it on the top of my head uh this is great i see you're not an expert at it and it makes me learn which you keep it up uh it is saif it is and maybe it was you that commented uh i don't know somebody commented on, on something uh, but it makes sense the comment he made makes a lot of sense but I wrote Rust uh, in production a long time ago. I think before async and everything was, was still Tokyo shenanigans going on. Uh, how many years? Maybe three years ago. Three years ago I wrote Rust. And I always kept follow following the language and, see, and seeing it evolving. And um, I, m I must say that the compiler is, is improved so hard, right? The borrow checker and the hints 
uh, improved so hard back when I wrote Rust, man. That was uh, another another thing. Until we high five engineers. Uh, Miroslav, yes, man. Rahul, what are you using more professionally right now? Go or Rust? Uh, go. Go. Although I, yeah. I'm, 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 that's why I'm gonna do more Rust so I can, I can be better at it. Well, be better at no things more on the top of my head, how how things are being done and, and stuff, right? Because most of the time I see, oh my God, I have a moved value and then I know what it means, right? I know, oh shit, yeah, it's moved. But some people, if you write Rust all day, um, then you know it's, you can prevent these things from coming, right? There should be video parity on this channel, three Rust videos and let's go. <laughs> I hope carbon will be kept. What do you mean by that, Kamal? Carbon will be kept. But to be honest, like I said, Rust. Um, um, um. Like you see, I I write Rust myself, right? As uh, Rust videos on my channel, and I will keep keep doing them. But um, I have not. I'm gonna be honest. I I I think a lot of people don't have a good time in Rust. In my opinion, this language is too big of an ID. It's it's just too big. Um, it's it's yeah I don't know it's just too big I I it's a complete different mindset uh, to do that. You can do things so much. You can literally this iter you can call so many functions. How can you know this? You need to look that up, and it takes so much time, right? It takes so much time to do, and it's sometimes so much pain. So much pain, man. David, do you use AWS or other to deploy microservices? What do you recommend? Uh, AWS is, it gives me anxiety, not gonna lie. I use AWS in my company and uh, I literally just give admin to, to an employee and he's gonna and he's fix things because I just, I just can't stand it. <clears throat> but it's good, right? It's good. And I'm basically, I have no much of an experience of really, really doing DevOps. The only thing I can do is building Docker files and uh, do some basic stuff, right? I think if you if you want to know more about DevOps and stuff, you can call, you can uh, ask Salad uh, Salad Blanding in uh, the Discord. He knows everything. I can do Golang from TimeScript and Rust is super cool, but the learning curve is exponential. Yeah, that's true, Raoul. Uh, it, it is true. It is true. The only thing, listen, and this very listen. And this is going to be a very good tip in Rust. To to make Rust your your main programming languages, as a as a as a day job, it's it's binary, right? It basically means you are an expert, you're a god at Rust, or you don't. So anything below god level, you will not get hired, right? That's Rust. So you're good at Rust, super good. You're a god. You will get hired as a Rust engineer. If you're beginner, you know the basics, you will not get hired, right? In Golang or in, or in other languages, in Python, if, you're, if you can write stuff, right, and you can solve problems, they will hire you because learning Golang and, and Python is super easy. These languages are minimalistic, but the rest not, right? The rest is not. In my opinion, guys, and, and, and I think, it, correct me if I'm wrong, if you... Trying to solve a problem, you need to focus on solving your problem. And I think if I'm solving problems in Rust, I'm way too much busy with fixing and thinking about how I need to do stuff because, oh, this value is getting moved. You, 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 oh no, what, what do I need to do? Should I copy this variable? I cannot copy this because then I cannot adjust its memory. It's, I need to think so hard and I, I cannot even solve my, 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 my problem with that language because I need to solve the language problems. And that's, a completely wrong concept and I mentioned this before yeah but Rust is type safe and Rust is safe and Rust is helps developers yeah okay cool but if I'm riding my bike nobody need, needs to hold a stick or needs to keep me straight or put some side wheels on my on my on my bike so I don't fall and break my nose right I'm responsible if I'm a bike driver that I can drive my bike and I can and I can just drive it right and I don't fall 
It's my responsibility. It's the same thing you as a developer, if you write C or C++ or whatever, uh, non-garbage uh, non -garbage collected language, it's your responsibility to free the memory to check for, for data uh, race conditions and, 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 and all that stuff. That, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Saif, Anthony, don't know if it was asked uh, already. Where are you from and what do you do? Wait, man, I cannot read because there's a light. Anthony, don't know if it was asked already. What, where are you from and what do you work on professionally? Well, I'm from Belgium. Uh, I'm from Belgium. <clears throat> and I do professionally. I have a company, Levenue, Levenue.com which I founded one year and a half ago or almost two years ago with my co-founder and uh, with my two other co-founders. And we do uh, recurring revenue financing. It's also trading, but you trade your monthly recurring revenue to upfront cash with investors. Right? It's a completely different asset class. That's what we do. And um, I'm the CTO co-founder, but I'm not very active. I still have my, I still have a, a portion of shares there, a big chunk by the way, uh, but I don't do active uh, thing because I am, I'm an engineer, I'm a problem solver, I'm a builder, I'm a hacker, I'm not a manager. <laughs> I literally hate that thing. I, I love to solve problems and to write code and to, and to engineer, but I don't want to continuously sit in meetings. I hate meetings and I want to be a sink. I want to be async. I want to come stream when I want, make a video when I want, go to sleep when I want, go to the gym. When I, I want to do everything when I want. Rust, uh, Raul, Rust solves a special use case. Yeah, of course, Rust. Like I said, it's a, it's a good language, but it's very, very, it serves its purpose. I don't know. I mean, listen, Rust, if, if, Rust was a very, very good language. A lot of game developers would already on Rust and they aren't, right? Because everybody is complaining in that space about C++ and they're looking for a replacement and Rust could be a replacement and there are people using Rust, but still not because it's too hard. It's too, it's too big of an idea. David, David Alvarez, so well, nice advices. My, my pleasure. Miroslav, that's why managers are needed. Yes, that's true. That's true. Managers are very needed. But um, listen, when I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how it goes in your life, in my life, at least once you are a developer, right? And uh, you like it. And at a certain point of time, you want to be a lead engineer, right? That's what you want. Everybody wants it. Come on, be honest. Oh man, I want to be the lead engineer. I want to do all those meetings and, and oh man, it's, it's fun. And, and I can, oh man, a lead engineer, it's my dream. And then once you're a lead engineer, then it's, oh man, I want to be the CTO. <laughs> oh man, I want to be the CTO. I want to drive these nice cars and I'm, I'm the CTO sitting in meetings. Uh, but guys, listen, once you all, once you reached lead developer, you don't want to be a lead developer. Once you reached CTO level, you don't want to be a CTO level. <laughs> you, want, you don't want to be a CTO. You just don't want. I just want to code, solve problems, and share my knowledge, and that's it. I don't want to... I don't want to hassle in meetings. Because meetings are toxic, and you don't need them. You don't need meetings. They are the cause of all evil. Because in a meeting, the only thing that people want is to say what they want to say, right? They want to have an impact, and that's important. They want to have an impact in the meeting. And most of the time, these meetings, they, they come to nothing, right? You sit one hour in the meeting and what is discussed? A couple of people are discussing about some, I don't know, because a variable naming <laughs> in the Ruby community <laughs> or something, I don't know. Uh, most of the time you're discussing some architectural decisions and you, you, you make a nice whiteboard drawing and everything is fine. And oh yeah, it's going to work like this. It's going to be insane. It's distributed and woohoo, load balancing and look at this. And, and then you're going to implement this and then it's like, oh shit, uh, we, we forgot something. We cannot do this. And then you need to 
make another meeting and man, don't do it. No meetings. You speak French. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Not 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 that good to be honest. But I can understand it. And I can. I will not die in France. <laughs> if you if you put me in a world full of French speaking people, I would not die, and I would probably have a girlfriend. With hair. Rahul, oh my God, that's exactly what happened today for me. Yeah, this, um, guys, listen, I've been there and, and, and I've been there and done that. I know these things. I'm the oracle. People call me like that because I know what's going to happen. Zik, much better. Rust. Yeah, Zik, I heard from it. But, oh man, people are always making these. Pr I, I, if you make a game, just, just use C++, man. I mean. You're gonna have a good time. It's it's very it's simpler to use C plus plus than Rust. Trust me, Rust is kiss kiss bananas, man. That language. Oh, that's crazy. What 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 was this guy smoking, man? If he if he designed his language, what the hell? It's crazy. Ice bear, bye bye, man. It's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna, if there are questions, please feel free. Otherwise, I'm going to commit this code, push it to the GitHub, put a link into the description so you guys can follow or see how, play around with it. Maybe in, implement something better, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Lua, yeah, but Lua, is, Lua is, is, is a very good scripting language. It's getting used um, in gaming a lot, scripting gaming and also by Neovim. Yes. Bye bye, Icebear. Thanks for uh, dropping in, man. How is the Python going? By the way, Python, Python learning. What is carbon? What, what is going on? I need to. I, I miss something. Something is going on. Carbon. Carbon. Carbon language, or or, or what is this? Carbon language. Oh. Look at this. It's a language I didn't heard of. Oh man, what's going on? Carbon language. Uh, uh, what's the syntax? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's again. Oh please, I really hope the world is not evolving to this, com to this movable language, man. I mean, we made software, listen. We, we, we wrote software for over fucking 100 years. Maybe that's too much, but 50 years. And everything is fine, right? We are sending rockets to the space. We are playing games. You are literally playing battle royales with, with, with hundreds of people in it. We are raiding. We are defeating. We are defeating Rag Ragnaros with, with, with 40 people uh, or 20 people over, all over the world. RuneScape, millions of players. Why do we need this, these languages with all these? Look at this. Look at the syntax. S this makes me so sad. This is going to the this is going completely in the wrong direction. This is literally in the wrong direction. Man, people cannot even count to ten. It is what it is. All these Twitter guys learning languages, they cannot even count to 10. And you're gonna, you're gonna make a language and, and, and people need to write this thing? Huh. What the hell? We are still learning Rust, guys. Keep it easy. Rewriter. <laughs> it's easy. Look at this code. This is, this is C++. Easy. If else... Auto, this is basically, and you don't need to do this anymore in uh, the next C++ because it's going to defer it automatically, right? You can auto everything. If, return, simple. If, auto, iter, simple. Else, void, it returns a void, which is basically nothing. Traverse, EST. Is it a bit, uh, abs abstract uh, syntax tree. Easy. E switch. Boom, 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 boom. The only thing you need to do is take is 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 make sure you free memory and, and, and all that stuff, right? And reuse buffers and all that things. 
Hello, Nari. The last video on the Rust Order book was nice. Oh yeah, Nari. C++ templates. You need to stay away from that thing. That stinks. That's <laughs> C++ templates. That's crazy. Oh man, C++ templates. I remember. I remember. C++ templates. Amazing. That's why I never used them because I don't know. I fucked it up. Everything was working fine, and then suddenly, ah, oh, damn, it's not working. I cannot use it. And then you need to do, nah. Man, listen, a C++ is good. Python is good. JavaScript is good. Uh, Ruby is good. Golang is good. And let us stay with these languages, please. Why do we need all these languages? Luanis, good night, my man. I'll for sure ask questions tomorrow on this code. Fine, man. Thanks for watching, Ioannis. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for making my dream come true. It's all right, buddy. You owe me, right? You owe me something. And let me see how, where are we actually? Uh, 91. Five. Five people. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I'm going to end the stream soon. I'm going to eat my 20 grams of protein because I'd rather eat that than a fake shot of dopamine. And I'm going to eat some carbs again because tomorrow is chest day and the day after chest day is push, is pull day, back. And uh, I will show, let me, let, let me show you. I'm going to show you something before I stop. For the people that are still watching, I'm going to show you. If you want fitness tips, I'm your man. Uh, can I do this, by the way? Let me quickly check this. I can't. I can't. It's on my Twitter. On my Twitter also have these pictures. I already showed them, I guess. Media, here, here it is actually. Yeah. I will show you how a high value engineer looks like without clothes. Damn, how many videos do I post on this thing? I'm gonna show you directly. No worries, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this is what a high value engineer looks like. Look at these legs. I don't skip lag day. No, I don't. We don't skip lag day here at the, at the army of the high value engineers. We code and we do lag day two times a week. Look at these. Look at these things. Can I? Boom. Look at these legs. This guy, a complete unit. I have. Look at this. Look at this guy, Superman, literally in front of you. Live on TV here. My best picture. Greek God watching over the community. This is what a what a high value a high value engineer does, man. We need a developer diet plan. It is what it is. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but that's some tip I need to give you guys. You need to make sure you are mentally okay because hey. I'm 35 and I literally went through a lot of stuff in my life, right? You can say what it is. There's always happiness on, on, on these, on these social media and everybody is happy and, and everybody is jacked and, but it's not true, right? Uh, life comes with a lot of problems and everybody, uh, will hopefully you, you cannot avoid it, right? Soon, sooner or later you will, you will encounter something that's bad, maybe a breakup or somebody that somebody you need to cut out of you. I don't know somebody dies or something. Uh, so you need to be mentally very, very, very trained, right? 
So you need to go to the gym. It's very important. As a man, you need to boost your testosterone levels. You need to be look good for your self-esteem, right? It's very important. Because you are basically the CEO of your life and you cannot depend on anything or anyone else. You need to be self... Uh, how do you say it? Self... Um, I don't know, self-dependent. You cannot rely on, some, on, 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 any, on, on someone else, right? So if there is fire in your house, who is going to take your sister, your brother, your mother, and your dad, or your girlfriend, or your kids out of the house? Who's going to do that? You're going to do that, right? You're going to take them up your back, everyone, maybe 150 kilograms on your back, and you, you're going to drag them outside. That's your job, right? So you need to be prepared for these kind of situations, right? It is what it is. If you're a coder or, 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 or a scientist, you, it doesn't matter. You need to be a fucking unit. <laughs> you need to be the boss on the keyboard. You need to be a boss on GitHub. And you need to be a boss in real life, right? That's what it is. And uh, yeah. And if you're anxious, it's completely normal because I am too, right? I am too. I am anxious. What do you think? That I'm a superman. I'm anxious too sometimes, right? Sometimes I have a feeling and I don't know what it is, but I'm nervous about something that could happen that actually is not going to happen. It's normally, it's perfect. It's, it's perfectly fine to have that, right? The only thing you need to do is just take the pain, but it's nothing you can do, right? You, can, you don't need to, to smoke weed. You don't need to take pills. You don't, you don't need to drink beer. <laughs> you just take the pain because it will go away, right? Just take it. Take it as a man. That's what you need to do. Uh, and between C++ and Rust, uh, man, Kamal, that's a good question. Uh, what do you need to choose, Rust or C++ in 2022? That's a good question, my man. Uh, Uh, Rust is getting popular, that's a fact, but you, do you know the basics? That's, that's important, right? Because people are, are learning Rust, they're coming from Ruby or Java, JavaScript, and they are learning Rust. But you don't know how computers work, huh? Huh? because you write JavaScript and Ruby. And that's, don't take this as offended, right? It's, we need these guys. These are also engineers. These are also engineers, right? But... If you, never, if you never wrote something in C and C++, these applications, you, and you don't know how computers work and how memory is laid out and how a string is laid out in memory and, and how a struct and, and what can happen and all these things, what happens with the, with the, what is the heap, what is the stack, you need to know these things because otherwise writing Rust has no, no meaning. You need to know the basics and that's why I'm always preferring to start writing in C++ or C but then take C++ then because you have modern approaches, uh, these auto things and, and all that stuff, right? Um, because by the end of the day, guys, Rust, if you want to get a paid job, Rust is hard, right? Uh, and and this, is, this is real truth. You know that I'm always spitting real facts and Rust is hard to get a job because it's binary, like I mentioned. You're either good, 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 and you get hired or everything below is no thanks. Because they know that Rust is hard. They know they need to have the best. Kamal, you're a top G, my friend. <laughs> I'm not a top G, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It is. Uh, I know, I know, I went through, uh, me and you, we are the same thing, right? We are, me and all, all, all you guys watching, we are, we are the same people. There is nothing different between us, right? Literally nothing. So I, the things I experience myself, the feelings I sometimes have, the frustrations, the, the pain, emotional, whatever, the mental, it's the same things you guys have, right? It's the same thing. And some people have more and some people have less and, and whatever. But I know, so that's why I'm, I'm openly tell you that, that you just need to take it as a man and it will go away sooner or later. It is what it is. People today waste time without thinking. It's true, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we do these empty struct stinker these empty struct channels that's why we close these empty struct channels so we don't waste one byte <laughs> it is what it is self-sufficient that's what I'm uh, Nari self-sufficient 
And sorry that I'm basically hopping between these questions because uh, my chat is OBS. I don't know what it's doing. It's a shuffle. It shuffles. A random shuffle. Uh, self-sufficient. You need to be self-sufficient, right? If I'm if I'm coming at a deaf team, I do every. I can do everything myself. If everybody dies, and you need to make yourself invincible in a company. If you want to make a lot of money, you need to make yourself invincible. And if everybody dies in a team and you're still alive, it's all good. You can write JavaScript, you can do the React, you can patch CSS if you want, you can uh, fix this login function in, 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 in Vue.js, you can, if the DevOps die, you can check the Kubernetes cluster or something and figure it out yourself. Um, you can do literally anything. If the, if the, if the, the, the architect, uh, engineering architect is dead, you can literally, take the whole team on your back. That's how you need to form yourself in life. Right? If somebody, if you ask a question, what are we going to eat? And he's thinking for more than five seconds, you decide what you're going to eat. I do it the same thing with my girlfriend, right? Sometimes I tell her, what, what are we going to eat? And then it's, um, mm, uh, and then, okay, we eat this. You know, it's, it's, don't be, because yeah, just boom. It is what it is. It is what it is. You are in front of your team and the whole, your, your friends, your parents, you take care of, any, of everybody. That's what you need to do in life. Because nobody is going to take care for you. I'm going to swear, uh, I'm, uh, it is what it is. That's. All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Two hour stream. Hey, we had some time to, to do some, uh, Offside talking because hey, we coded this microservice as a as a as a savage. Um, yeah, and if uh, like I mentioned, if you're not subscribed and you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Jump into the Discord. I will keep you motivated. It's not only for coding but for everything, right? And. Um, don't take don't forget to take care of yourself too. I do. I do. But I'm in momentum, right? I'm right now in a momentum and I need to do sacrifices because momentum is the most important thing you will ever encounter in your life. It's literally if you have momentum, you need to abuse it. Literally abuse it until you fucking throw up. It is what it is. You momentum. Sometimes if you're in the gym, right, and, and you feel amazing and you feel so good and everything. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, sometimes you have these days, then you need to abuse it. Then you, you pump up the weights until it it's right? Then, then, then that's, that's the day you do a PR. That's the day you do a PR, it's abusing your momentum. That's the same thing in, li in life, right? I have this YouTube channel, made some videos, get some traction, I'm in a gigantic momentum, <laughs> I cannot stop. Now, now I need to go even harder, right? Now I need to abuse, uh, and leverage my momentum to, to make it even more snowball effect, right? That's what I'm going to do. Whew, I'm in the run team, so code with Pearl, Angular, yes, and go. Nice. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up, you know, jump into the Discord, and uh, we can discuss there, and we can talk, and we can do whatever, whatever uh, we need to do as high-value engineers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, video or live stream or... Um, let me find the end stream button real quick. Thanks for watching. Take care.